Hello students, myself, Professor Ankur. Today, I'm going to introduce all of you to an important topic in the gate theory session of analog circuits. So the main understanding of analog circuits starts with respect to the basic concepts of analog circuits, sums based on it and how to solve it. But before we actually go for analog circuits questions and the basic things, we need to first understand the background of analog circuits. So this is basically a small introductory session to analog circuits. So when I try to introduce the topic to all of you, so the basic question arises, what is analog circuits? So we need to understand that analog circuits are circuits which are realized using electronic components like operational amplifier, resistor, BJT, various types of transistors, diodes, and many other things. These circuits are actually designed in electronics to process time varying or continuous signals and are always designed for specific outcomes. The basic applications of analog circuits are in the circuits like amplifiers, rectifiers, filters, and many more. So what are things we are going to cover here? We are going to cover diode and its application, biasing of BJT, amplifier and frequency response, MOSFET based circuits, operational amplifier and its applications, timer circuits, regulator circuits, multi-stage amplifier, differential amplifier, negative feedback, power amplifier, and any other extra topic that will be covered. What is the weightage of analog circuits in gate exam? So when we look at a gate exam, we have one mark question, two mark question, or linked questions, which are also for two marks. Obviously, questions come with both the types now, negative marking and non-negative marking. On an average, we get around 10 mark question in an EC paper on the topic of analog circuits. So thank you for watching this video and let's start with analog circuits basics in the next coming session. Thank you.